Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rose, but this shit too clutch. Say my date's the number, but I'm in a dilemma and I'm trying to decide what would be the best camera to get because I'm not gonna be able to use my phone anymore just because I wanna save my space and you know like I don't want to spend my entire storage space on filming long ass YouTube videos. That's the current dilemma. I'm stuck between Sony and Canon. And a few of the reasons I love Canon is because of the color grading. If that can save me time as far as post editing, that would be great. So I'm stuck between that and then the ZV-1 is the one that I was thinking about. I wanted to at least get something that I could take with me that could be portable because I want to do more like blog kind of content or just if I want to film things while I'm out, that way I can just have the means to do it and I won't have to worry about bringing my huge Canon. It is, however, my A camera. I primarily use this and my phone, but since I do photography as well, it's kind of inconvenient for me to have to use it for more than just photography. I'm cool with stationary work. Like if I'm making a video at my desk, if I felt like getting everything set up, you know, you gotta get lighting together and everything like that, then I would be fine using just this one. But as far as the practicality of taking it with me, it's just not gonna work long-term because I really, really, really want to have that versatility because this camera is so huge. It's like, if I whip this thing out, <laughs> somebody's gonna get nervous, you know? Obviously, if it's just me and like my family and like we're not going to stores or something, that's fine. And yeah, it just, it would give me a little bit more freedom and also, one of my other considerations is the fact that Canon, I'm used to Canon. I am, this is what I, I use on the regular whenever I film content or do anything photography related. So for me, I feel like I could use it in a few different ways. I wouldn't be, I guess, trapped to just use it for videography because I am a photographer on the side as well. I'm not familiar with Sony at all. So there will be that learning curve as well and then additional editing time with Sony. However, I do think that the product showcasing thing is pretty cool like say if I had this to show you the product would go into focus and I would be out of focus that's pretty convenient as far as if I'm doing that body care content or just anything where I can showcase I think that's a really valuable tool for people that are trying to become content creators and you know live their lives online or whatever like because we tend to share with the world what we're doing or what we're um, trying to showcase to you so that is another consideration for me as far as sony like that was definitely a big one that i was like okay if i do decide to do this you know at least it'll have that and then they also i've heard many complaints as far as canon and their autofocus i've heard that they have pretty sucky autofocus and it takes a while for them to re like regain focus sometimes which is understandable like given whatever content you're trying to produce that is that can be very frustrating okay hey i'm last minute editing and just as an update i did more research and turns out the canon actually created a software update for users so that they could choose if they wanted to use the original version of the camera or if they wanted an updated version that is supposedly better at autofocus sony um also has pretty good autofocus like i've heard that they're very fast and they're just above the range of canon is what i've heard the general consensus i've only seen like two videos that were like pro canon which is kind of sad but it's understandable because given what kind of content you're putting out that's what's going to determine what kind of camera you should get i think but yeah so this is my point a camera i really need a point b camera just because of practicality i can't film and set up this thing every single day like it's it's very taxing after a while but um uh, I do get pretty good film time out of it. So I'm trying to decide which one's gonna give me the best choice as far as pros and cons. So I hope to take you guys with me on this. I'm probably gonna end up going to Best Buy and then surprise, this is the one that I got cause I'm really not sure. A lot of pressure. I'm trying to decide though and you know, be an adult and make adult decisions.
I had to come back out to my car just to research which one I wanted to finally get because this store only has one of the cameras and I'm like well if I go ahead and get it you know one I already have it and then two I don't think that they'll have anything else in stock for a minute and I kind of wanted to go ahead and get it this week at least so either I go to Walmart chance it maybe they have some maybe they don't or stay here get this one it's also the cheaper one which is kind of you know better given me not wanting to fully commit to the other two and like the downsides of the other two this one also has a wide lens so i think i might just go ahead and get this one Now you wishing you 